Hello everyone. I wanted to do a video series um, along with this trip that I'm doing to meet with the families of the missing. And so this is going to be the first one that I'm going to do. And I think I'd like to call these Bringing It Home because obviously I get to do this and I get to be, I mean, I get the honor and privilege of being with the families that, that means a lot to me. And I know there's a lot of uh, people out there that you know, would like to be able to do that. So, but because you can't, then I get to um, bring you into the homes with me. So, and I'm going to hopefully share these videos with uh, the people uh, all through the Facebook connections that I have to social media. So, right now, um, I'm actually um, here with my friend uh, Jean Rayer Lagnus, and I've got to actually spend the weekend with her, and it's been a, it's been a real privilege and an honor for me. So I wanted to just introduce her uh, briefly, and then I'd like to have her just to, to talk to you about, because she has a missing son, and I want uh, her to introduce him to you, and just to share uh, some thoughts, um, what, what's on her heart as far as what she would uh, you know, feel led to share. So now I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna turn it over to, to Jean now, and let her tell you, uh, you know, about about her son, and so Gene, why don't you um, introduce you know, your your son to everybody? Hi, this is my son, Robert Wilson Rare. He's been missing since July 6th of 1990, out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. He was in an adolescent treatment facility, being treated for emotional problems from finding his father dead. Uh, his father committed suicide. Robert. I was told he was going to go on an outing that day, so I wasn't allowed to come visit him. Um, later on, I found out, um, I, did, I, I don't know whether or not he went on the outing, but according to the police report, the clothes that they said he was wearing um, at the time that he went missing was returned in his belongings. Also, the time that they said he went missing, I was on the phone with him. So there's a lot of unanswered questions that one day I would like to see answered and bring justice for Bobby and for this case. For over, right here next to me, is a folder that I have maintained and in this folder is two years worth of information that was valuable to Bobby's case to also include um, legal investigations and other matters, other things, and documentations from the hospitals. Over the years, I have found that there has been a huge problem um, with communication and with law enforcement and getting things done. And as you and I both know, um, our world is changing as we know it. And there's a lot of excellent groups out there. One of them is VOHAMP, which is Victims of Homicide and uh, Missing Persons. They have been phenomenal with information and offering training to help not only the families, but law enforcement to these changing times. So and I would like to see the structure in the laws changed and jurisdiction so that everybody can work together to solve all these cases. Uh, to date that I know of across America, there are 40,000 or better missing person cases. And Dennis Crowley, my good friend, he has also been phenomenal in helping us families and keeping our stories alive. And he travels around America to help everyone, everyone that needs him. And he operates um, solely on funding from us, which is, and people generous enough to donate. And at the end of this broadcast, I hope that you will click on the GoFundMe link and please donate to Dennis so that he can continue his work to help all of us. Well, let me ask you a question, just can we, we can close with this. Um, I, I know and have been around this long enough to know that a lot of people really do care 
Yeah. It, it, but the numbers are, are so large, and, and they think, well, I'm not, a, I'm not a law enforcement. But what can I, what can I really do to help? So, from your experience, what can you share with the people who are going to watch this video, as far as you know, you know, what can they do, and how can they get involved? Not only with you, but all of the missing people. With all the missing people, the best, the best thing you can do is to share our posters when you see them, and eyeball people when you're out walking around or you're on vacation and if you have any information some out there may have information that would be valuable to help law enforcement help us find our children or our missing loved ones the adults and so I would urge you all to please come forward with information if you have it and to share our posters well I want to thank you all of you for taking the time to watch this video and uh, please find a way to get while these families are desperate for the help. And I can tell you from my own experience that it's, it's time that you can um, put words to it. And so help us and, and help, help Gene to keep hope alive. Thanks for your time. All I want is everything I love. Cause of all